open up that slot. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. They seem to good. Alright, so I'm about to get this thing tore down the rest of the way. Uh, the handlebars are bent. We're going to go with stock bars because we already have another set. These throttle uh, throttle cables are broken. We also have another set of those, so we'll use that. But we're going to pull the interfering off to get the bars off. And I'm going to finish tearing down the back of it so we can get the, uh, the overlay on it. And this one we're keeping the stock stereo and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and get started right now uh, swapping out these cables and bars and getting that part done so that we can start getting the body back on it. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is get this air breather off of here so that we can get to the throttle cables so we can swap them out. I take all the stuff off because everything's a different size. I usually just try to leave the bolts and screws where they go, so I'm not trying to figure it out later. These dudes are broken already, so instead of adjusting them out, I'm just going to cut them off. It's been a while since I've done this, but I think you, there's a tab underneath here you can push. Yeah. And then that just slides right on out. And you want to make sure not to turn it when you get it out because there's two different switches in there that can get misaligned and it's a pain in the butt to try to get it straightened back out. This is the proper Harley Davidson tool right here special tool. <laughs> and then that thing can come loose so that we can get to do our lower handlebar bolts when we get the uh, inner pairing off.
now I'm going to have to pull it off. It goes underneath it. Cut that off of there. I guess it sits up in that ridge. things just have a little ring in there that pop out. All right, now it's time to get everything put back on the new bars. So, we've got our new controls on, or our same old controls on the new bars. Uh, got them all mounted up, got our new grip over there. I'm finishing putting on this grip right here, and then we're going to put the inner fairing back on, bolt all that stuff back up, pop the tank on it because we've got our throttle cables back in there and working, and then put the air filter and stuff back on. Watch what I got. Watch what I got. Look at that. Cool. In there. One more. Oh. 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 <laughs> it just hurt my finger so bad. It really did. It hurt so bad. You're supposed to take all this stuff apart, but obviously you don't have to. Just fine.
Got a new tank on here. It's all painted black. Looks good. Just gonna hook up these fuel lines and get the hose clamps back on it. got our fender overlay bracket like I make if you haven't seen me or seen how to make this it's on all my other videos you can just watch that um, this is our bumper to lead bracket I just got this mounted up and we're going to go ahead and finish off this video now. On the next one I'm going to go ahead and get our overlay on there, the fenders, the seat and side covers and wire up our tail lights. And after that uh, all I have left is the outer front fairing, front wheel and front fender.